welcome to the reading of the week. Today we're going to see how the week is going to go. You can pick a pile. One, two, three, or four. Take your pick. And we're starting with pile one. First card. It looks like it's gonna be a busy week for you. There's a lot of work, lots of work, opportunities, and money. I'm gonna show you some of the cards so you see what I'm talking about. Uh, wow, lots of work stuff and money stuff. Romance is in the air, new beginnings, start fresh. It's a, uh, if you pick by one, it's, um, it's a very eventful week. It's a good week. Overall, it's a great week. Uh, there's a lot of activity. There's a lot go happening, a lot going on for you. Um, the work front is looking especially auspicious and wonderful. So if you are, if you just started a new job or I don't know, if you're starting new projects or it looks like work is picking up. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff to do. Good money, money coming in, cascading money from the sky for you. Romance also looks good and there's a big change. This is a week of a week, sorry, of transformation. So you want to keep that in mind. You want to transform like the Phoenix. You are being shown the death card. It's one of my favorite cards always. The death and the tower. I always like them because they symbolize change. Change is good. And the death card, you know, means anything that's dead is something that is rotten, that it doesn't need to be here anymore, that you don't want, that doesn't serve you, that's no good. So this is a wonderful card. Whatever needs to go left, it's gone. And now in with the new, it's wonderful. And I love it. I love this card because it's not like out with the old and in with the new. I think I'm making that too simple. The truth is, it's transformation. It's more than in with the new. To say new and to say transform are such, they, they, they have such different energy charge, right? This is a butterfly. This is a, literally something that was rotten, a skeleton, which is just bones, and then it transforms and it becomes a beautiful, colorful butterfly. This is what you can expect for this week, pile one. It's gonna be wonderful. Now, having said that, I have to say, one of my uh, typical phrases, if you ever had a reading with me, I say that a lot. Careful, don't mingle with mediocrity. Careful, uh, going back to old patterns and hanging out with some negative nellies that you have around you and getting caught up in the minutia of everyday stuff and other people's uh, dramas and point of views and whatever. So careful with that. I'll tell you why you got you got these three cards. This is not a, you know, this is. Anyway, um, everybody that reads Star of interprets things differently. I, I let the cards and this, the symbols and the images speak to me, and I am channeling eighty percent, if not more, of the reading. So the message for me today, regardless of whatever those cards may mean is that you need to be focused and you need to be present and you need to capitalize on everything that is good and positive for you this week which is a lot as i said before you have money cascading to you like coming to you in abundance and easily right you have a beautiful transformation you have romance did i show you the card of romance that you got this is a beautiful connection. This is a nice relationship. And again, most of the other cards are just about work, 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 work. So, uh, you know, I'm not an astrologer, but um, I'm going to say that I'm sure this is trying to tell you that the planets are aligned for you 
to uh, be proactive and productive in the career front. So anything that has to do with work, enterprise, career, jobs, um, you should focus on that, go for it. It looks like it will be a, a mighty, wonderful week for you. All my love. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of these readings every week and like and comment and share. And now let's go to the pile number two. This is the card that's underneath. I'm not gonna read that now. We're gonna start with this one. Let's see, wow. All right, so this is for what the week is bringing you. What will your week be like, pile number two? Wow, I'm always surprised how they're all so similar. Pile number two, a great week for making money. Um, lots of money, 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 money cards. Um, everything is going right for you this week. Wow, another one. Yeah, uh, if someone owes you money, this is the, the week. This is the time. Go ask for it. Try to get your money back. Um, if you want to get a raise in your job, should ask for a raise, you will get it. If you um, want to make an investment, this is it. This is, the, this is the perfect time. Anything that has to do with money, investment, buying a home, um, changing jobs, uh, negotiating for a better salary or a better better job or better uh, compensation package, whatever it is, this is the week. And, um, and, and more importantly than that, it shows me that everything is happening in harmony and happiness. It looks like you are in a really good place, not only financially, financially it looks like you're doing great, but also emotionally. Uh, they are showing me that you have had a lot of struggles so far, it seems, and they, it almost feels like someone is looking after you, watching over you, and it feels like someone is covering you with blessings this week. So I hope that you can be present and aware and able to receive these blessings. Money is always a huge blessing here on earth. We definitely enjoy having um, the opportunities and the possibilities that money gives us. So money is always wonderful. It's a big blessing. And it looks like this week you're gonna have a lot of that, but also you're having blessings of the spirit. So I invite you to have some quiet time and be thankful and be appreciative for everything that you have. If you were in front of me now, I would tell you that you're very fortunate, you're very blessed. Again, um, you know, you're working in tandem with people that are there to help you. They are your friends, they are your allies. And I, I can't say enough. It's uh, an overwhelmingly positive reading pile number two all the money cards came out for you I'm kind of wondering what's gonna happen with the rest part of the rest of the piles but if you like this reading please subscribe like share comment it means so much and it will keep me doing more of these videos if I see your comments that you like it and it helps so I'll make more so and now let's go to File number three. All right. File number three is very nice. You will have an uneventful week, not as eventful as the other two, but hold on. They are telling us you're undecisive. There is something, there's probably a decision you have to make and you have been just going around the bushes, just being a little stagnant, right? You are not moving forward. 
you're not doing what you are supposed to be doing, you're not making the decision that you should be making, I don't know why, you need to make a decision, you need to move forward, everything is there for you, everything is ready for you to make this decision, it seems like you just, you are stuck, you're, you're like, you're your worst enemy, so you honestly need to do like a band-aid and just go with it. Other than that, they're showing me incredible amount of love, protection, and beautiful things in the home front. Um, you got this car. It's, you know, it's a beautiful car. I love it. You can see, even if you don't read tarot, you see, you see the image, right? You see the symbolism. I love it. It also says that apparently, according to this card, you have to have someone really special in your life. And the, this spread is also telling us about a love connection and a, a good chemistry connection. So I see a lot of potential for physical activity with another person and having a lot of fun. And yeah, lots of chemistry, lots of romance possibilities of romance and then then again then there's a you are carrying some heavy stuff some heavy energy that you don't need to carry with you anymore so I hope you can let go of whatever it is that has been traveling you whatever it is you have in your mind please let it go you have so many blessings um, at your fingertips it's a shame it's a shame what we do with our minds right don't let your mind do that to you. It's not real. It's all here. You are making this. You are making this happen. You are making it real. It's not real. It's not that big a deal. So make the decision and love yourself. And remember that you are meant to be happy always. This is why you're here. To enjoy, to explore, to experience. Not to suffer, struggle, or, you know, none of that. So if you like this reading, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It means so much, and it will keep me doing all these readings for you. If there's a question you would like me to answer for you, please send it to me. You can do it privately or publicly. You, you can go to my website, send me an email, whatever, and I will answer. And now let's go to pile number four. I have it here. And I always start with the back. Oh, very nice. Your first card is a very nice card. Happiness, friendship. Are you curious about the second card? I'll show you. Okay. This is a really good card for money. So happiness, love, friends, family, money, and work. I don't know how they manage, but this is, I, I'm loving this uh, pile readings. And I'm doing them the way Brad asked me to do it, because he didn't like it when I shuffle and I did a new reading for each pile. And um, now I'm only using the piles and it's fascinating. The messages are really interesting. So this is a really good week too. I'm very tempted to show you all the cards for here, uh, there's a lot happening. Like I said, they are they are inviting you to have some fun and to meet up with friends. Things are opening up almost everywhere. Um, I hope, and even if they're not, I don't know. Just have fun with friends. Just get some friends that know are safe and vac vaccinated or whatever, and and try to do whatever. Um, maybe you can meet up at home, I don't know. But you need that um, physical contact with friends. That's number one. That was the first card that you got. And I see you exchanging and yeah, commuting with other people. It's really, really important. The card that covers it is the Ace of Pentacles, which is it, it's indicating you that you have everything that you need, that money is not an issue, at least not this week. So money looks good if you're someone who's a freelancer and you have always, you know, different jobs or little jobs here or there, you don't have a salary, 
uh, this is gonna be a good week you're gonna make money so don't worry about it and it looks like um, work is picking up it's very steady and good uh, oh wait I said that but then there's an all system say go so I get the feeling that you might be going through some you want to make some changes in the work front you want to either open a new business start your own thing um, change jobs change careers and it, it, it actually looks extremely positive for all those changes so if you are toying with the idea of going in a different direction this spread for you for this week is supporting action see one of the many cards that you have is this one that indicates all systems say go and this as you know ones have to do with work enterprise studies um yeah work so go for it uh once again i see you making money you're making money working and happiness is still there it looks like you are really very blessed um with family and friends emotionally blessed good for you and again steady i mean there's something i i keep getting the feeling that you have something in the works something that hasn't yet come to surface uh, a new business a new i don't know idea for um yeah there's something that you want to do and you've been uh, kind of waiting for the right time or a little hesitant or maybe dragging your feet a little bit go for it it's um it's supporting you yeah and i just pulled another card and this one is telling me don't focus on the spilled milk. If you turn around, there's another reality that you have not considered yet, and you have to consider it. So there's another reality right there. Um, go for it, whatever it is, go. Don't be a chicken. So thank you for watching. Please uh, do comment, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Gosh, I forgot to say subscribe. And send me questions because I will run out of questions. So if you have a question, however personal it is, it's never all that personal. A lot of people can identify with your questions. So send them to me and I will do readings for you. And also I want to thank for the people who gave me plants. This is a lavender plant and that's a money tree. And I have another one there. I can't show it. I mean, it's too far. But uh, thank you, people give me plants, I love it. It's always good to give me plants and flowers, I love it, it's the best gift. Love it, love it. Um, so yeah, thank you for the plants very much. As you can see, if you're watching, the one who gave me the, this is uh, what, two weeks old, maybe? And it's still, it's doing well. All the plants are doing great. Thank you again, uh, I will begin next week. Oh my God.